Good Saturday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 with an apple for the teacher. A little bitty apple. This is the little apple. Anyway, be that as it may, it is a good morning. It's cool here. Not real cool. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Carrizozo, New Mexico? In Carrizozo right now, it's 55 degrees. With a high of 83. Hey Google, what's the temperature in uh, Butte, Montana? The temperature in Butte right now is 44 degrees. Not too bad. With a high of 54, not bad at all. That's pretty nice. But anyway, it is a good morning, and today is the first day of the rest of your life. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now, and right now just went poof. You know what I mean? It's uh, October the, what, 10th? The October the, it's, no, it's October the 9th. Uh, 2021 already and uh, so yeah if there's anything you want to be doing you better be doing it or it'll get gone you'll be gone but i've been living in rv a long time everybody knows that this is a class c motorhome and i like the hell out of it so far and hey google tell us a joke what do you call a bear with no teeth a gummy bear cute now for your enjoyment we'll do a positive energy thing from the positive energy button sent to me by a viewer you can make a difference your life is filled with possibility it's filled with possibilities that's all if you don't do anything those possibilities will go right with you to the grave or wherever you're going to go anyway what else uh the noon video today, I don't know. I don't have anything done. Of course, today I was going to be doing some triking videos, but I don't have a trike yet. I'm supposed to get it Monday. Uh, there was some problem with the address. Uh, this uh, address here apparently hasn't been used in a long time, but it's crazy. You can do a Google search and find it like that. So, anyway, I, I don't know. Something happened. But anyway, let's look at... Uh, here is... Uh, Jeffrey Hammonds says, in Montana, those big satellite dishes of 40 years ago were called porn on the range. <laughs> I hear that. <clears throat> this is Ellen MC. So nice to be living around the life, life stock. Yeah, the antelope. It, it's, uh, there's not that many here. The most I've seen and counted in one group or groups around here is nine. And the reason they hang out here, uh, there's no hunting in this area. There's several thousand acres here that there's no hunting. <clears throat> so it didn't fit, take them too long to figure out that, uh, that they can survive here. Uh, anyway, this is Harry W. Uh, look at your new pets. I think it more, they picked you, no beer 30. I'm starting. When your boss lets you off early on Friday, we drink beer. Cheers. Yeah, I used to do the same thing, guys. After work, head for the bar. Uh, Scotty Thompson, I'm going to high school football game tonight, Friday night, yesterday, 7 p.m. with Superior, Wisconsin, with my dad and my girlfriend, Sonny Beck, who is special needs, autism like me, and we both shy, don't talk much. Mumble, Superior Spartans football team. Uh, anyway, it's, he's going to, a, he says, uh, the school I graduated in, Superior High School in Wisconsin in 2012. Well, anyway, Scotty, I'm glad, I hope you enjoyed the football game, and I hope your team won. This person's name is Green Snakes on the Ceiling. Yeah, back on your meds. He says, Amy and Andy may want you to bring them breakfast. Get some corn in those britches pockets. No, I don't feed wildlife. Never have. <clears throat> anyway, Sanborn S, very cool. It is memorable when nature comes in and have a peek at you. Yeah, it is. I mean, it is, but animals are just as curious about us as we are about them. Trust me on that. You know, they want to know who you are because they want to keep their area predictable just like we do. This person's name is Moose Knuckle. You're very wishy-washy, and I'm glad we never dated. My boyfriend, Scotty, agrees. I don't know what you mean there, Moose Knuckle, but back on back on the meds, back in the closet, and shut the door. Anyway, Steve Wheatley, 
Lay off the brew, Rusty. I do me, you do you, Steve. Harley Glide 03. Well, it's not that much. I mean, I, I mean, I drink two or three beers, and then I have two fingers of wine, and that's it. That's with my evening snack and read a book. That's it. That's the finish. Harley Glide 03. And, and let me say that before I answer Harley Glide. Don't worry about me. You be worrying about you, okay? That's the way to live your life. You take care of you. Everything works pretty good. Anyway, now Harley Glide 03. Ranger Harley reporting for duty. It's getting cooler where you are. It's getting cooler where we are. It's getting cooler everywhere. Very good, Harley. You figured that out. It's, because it's fall, becoming winter. As long as I can wear shorts, I'm good to go. Long pants equals move south. Happy traveling, Rusty. Maybe I'll see you on the road. Here's to all of us. Thank you very much. Uh, Ronnie Drury, how are you doing? He says, love your post on Beer 30. Yeah, that was strange on that first. I posted a Beer 30, and it, it was 16 minutes long, a little over. And whenever it got to video and popped up, it showed it was five minutes and something. So I, I just reposted it and did it again. Anyway, Brush Bum, good evening, Rusty. Been watching and not commenting. Have a great weekend. Take care. You too, Brush Bum. Jim Christensen, good evening, Rusty. Life is good in Iowa tonight. Here's to you. All the best. Here's to you. And I'm glad you enjoyed. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Harry W. says, uh, "Bro, looks like we both started early." No, I don't. I don't start early. When it's four, when it's beer thirty, I start. Uh, Wolf says, "You're one. You are, you one smart cookie." Well, I don't know about that. I'm just old. Uh, Wayside Wade. I wouldn't borrow any money either. Stay adamant, Rusty. No, I don't plan to. And, and he's talking about, you know, building a cabin in Lano. I, I don't think so. I mean, it's, <clears throat> I, I think about the building process. And really, that is a real headache. Everybody thinks building a home is easy. I don't care how big it is. When you're dealing with a builder and he's got subcontractors and, you know, you see them doing something that you don't want done, and you say something to them, they're just going to say, well, that's the way it is on the plans, or that's what the builder told me to do, and then you got to go back around through him. So anyway, it's it's a little bit difficult. Anyway, WTBM123, cool. This is Desert Rat, Arizona, AZ. I agree, Rusty. You need to do whatever makes sense to you and not what we in Internet land think you ought to do. Love your videos and can't wait for the next one. Peace and love. Thank you, Desert Rats, Arizona. Here's Texas Lady. Glad you came back on. I wasn't through listening. <laughs> yeah, I just posted a, a, another video. Uh, Jerry Slater looks good. Angie, Angie, A-N-G-I-E, Angie. Rusty, you do you, honey. I would not build unless the profit was for you. Uh, I would not go into debt unless you know it brings a better outcome financially. I know it is hard at times to make these kind of important. Anyway, I, I've pretty much decided I'm not going to borrow anything. And uh, anyway, good luck to you, Angie, and thank you for your comments. William Bingham, yes, two is better than one. Take two. I got it. Well, it was take two. Yeah. You know that thing they do. Robert Archuleta. <clears throat> Rusty loved following your voyage. When you're ready to build that little cabin in that metal building, we will take care of you personal message me and we can chat i'm sure you'll be happy keep on keeping on thank you robert no it's it's uh, it's going to be a while but if i do decide to build something permanent here uh, then it won't be a home i'll just remodel the inside of that metal building and make a 400 and something square foot home there which will be more than i need and make it well insulated and all that stuff uh, hw liberty she gives the address to another place I might like. Okay, thank you very much, uh, H.W. Liberty. I'll check that out. Boondocking with Dennis. Beer. Amen. Beer is it. Check Dennis's channel out. Boondocking with Dennis. Lives in a pickup truck with a camper top. This is Debbie M. Well, since this is a semi-repeat, I suggest y'all all speed this up to two. It's hilarious. <clears throat> I mean, I wasn't trying to be funny. If it was funny, I don't know how you got it. Anyway, Boondocking with Dennis, round one. Thank you. Bon Jean, good and entertaining beer 30, Rusty. Well, it, it was just me talking to myself, basically, and that's it. 
Uh, anyway, Eileen Tool, it says, I was a shopaholic, but since I've been watching you, I'm cured. Yeah, I, I don't shop for anything. You know, I mean, that's because I don't need any of that. First of all, I don't have any place to put it. You know, I, I don't have, I mean, I've got these storage buildings, but they don't have anything in them. <clears throat> I've got, in this RV, <clears throat> as I've mentioned before, back in the back there, there's those back compartments are empty. There's nothing in them. Uh, I don't need anything, man. I mean, I've got too much now. I look in my closet and think, hell, I could get rid of probably 10 shirts and stuff. Republic, Monday's a holiday. It is for some people, uh, but the UPS delivers on that day. <clears throat> Deb B, and the bank, uh, Washington Federal is open. The bank, Deb B, I love being retired and doing nothing. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, doing nothing will wear you out, you know. I mean, uh, Earl Wyatt McCrory, Oak Ridge Boys, 70s or 80s, I can't remember. <laughs> that song I started off with. I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, anyway, Cal Bob, 750, employees for jobs. You know, don't don't leave negative comments like that, Cal. I mean, we don't need that crap. Yeah, you, know, you get enough of that on TV, so, you know. Uh, Matilda got a little snack there. Here, have some uh, biscuits with gravy, girl. Anyway, it, it was just a negative comment. It wasn't anything bad, but, uh, you know, we just don't need it. You know, you guys are bombarded by negativity all day long, and they sure, I don't want to have it delivered to you here either. Steve Wheatley, I've had it with snow. That's why I'm heading your way. Okay, well, they get nine inches of snow a year here. And here's the morning poet, poetry, from Dale Pointer. Let's see what we've got here. The days of our life, and, and as the world turns, it's the edge of night and a secret storm, and we're glad he allows us in again and again, Beer 30. Yeah, B-E-E-R 30. Thank you very much, Dale Pointer, for your morning poetry. I appreciate it. Sanborn S., so tame, somewhat, like taking your dogs for a walk in the morning, talking about the antelope. Yeah, they just... Uh, well, because nobody bothers them here, they're just pretty well tame. I mean, they're not that tame. You can't walk up and pet them, but you can get within 20 feet, 15 or 20 feet, and then they'll scoot off. Uh, Marla Schaefer, this is funny, Rusty. You'll be okay. Glad I'm not the only one with those some of those feelings. I've noticed a lot of do-it-yourself going on. A lot of that is because of cost and finding people to do it. Might be an idea if a bunch of could get together and help build that metal building out. No, there's no, we're not going to do that, that, you know. But anyway, thank you, Marla, and good luck to you. And then Casey Glenda left a, a, a link to YouTube.ong, you know, and says it's amusing. You know, be careful clicking on those links like that. Some of them are links to porn. I don't know if Cassie's in there. If she is, I'll kick her off forever. But anyway, Cassie Glenda, hope it's not. I, and let me check it out right quick just for the hell of it. Yeah, it says, warning, you will see nude photos. Please be discreet. Okay. Goodbye, Casey, Cassie, Glenda, forever. Okay, here you go, Matilda. Now, this is a good meal Cassie has provided you with. Thank you, Cassie, Glenda. Cassie left uh, four large pancakes with maple syrup, a side of uh, sausage, uh, breakfast sausage, and uh, hash browns. Uh, hash browns, that ought to fatten you up. And then what else? A nice cup of java and uh, uh, with a little thing of orange juice. Thank Matilda says, thank you. Boom. Thank you, Cassie. Marla Schaefer says, this is funny. You'll be okay. Glad oh, I've already read that. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, this is Lulu. Uh, she's got a couple here. I'll read one of them. Uh, walking can get anybody to work. Walking can get anybody to work. Why your garage? That would be God sent. We need people to have more skills to build houses. And then I do Xavier plumbing and electricity, extra, etc. Anyway, thank you, Lulu. Good luck to you. Mark Reynolds, you have a great place there. Rusty, enjoy your time there. Yeah, it is really nice. I have to admit, sunrises and sunsets are awesome. And at my age, uh, that's uh, pretty much entertainment. I hate to tell you. Uh, you know, I mean, I sit out there in my little 
camping rocking chair in front of that garage, beer 30 for an hour or so, and you know, weather permitting, and uh, watch the sun start to go down. And in the mornings of when I get ready, see it's dark outside right now, it's about 6.30, the sun doesn't come up for another 30 minutes. And uh, by the time I get ready to go walking, the sun's just coming up a little bit. And so, yeah, it's, it's nice. I, I, I enjoy the hell out of it. Uh, thank you, Mark. A Lulu 59 what when I meant when I meant to say if you can get anybody to work sorry about that I was talking through the microphone okay thank you Lulu uh, Chris walls I could make it on the street so yeah I could oh talking about living in a storage building yeah that that video got a lot of views uh, anyway this is on beer 30 take two desert rat Arizona hey Rusty left my comment on your first beer 30 bid today have a great weekend. Well, thank you. You too. Uh, <clears throat> this is Louis Paparella or Paparella or Paparilla, depending on if he's Spanish or Italian. A short drive north of Zozo on 54 to the east northeast on 349 is the old mining town of White Oaks, known for its no scum allowed bar open on weekends, I think. Yeah, it is as far as I know. I've been there a few times. No, it's a nice little town. It's just out in the middle of nowhere, and people like it out there. Yeah, they have bands on the weekends. He also says, I'm going, I'm joining you with a Shiner Hill Country Peach Wheat Brew. I know you, I know you know from which it comes. Yeah, it was Shiner Brewery in Shiner, Texas. I've been there many times. This is Drill Sergeant. Uh, he says, I know what you're talking about as relates to someone getting someone to do something. I am flipping a house and ordered new windows today. They will be here about four months from now. They said it was because of the COVID thing. Never heard of windows. No, I heard that. But it's the, I don't know what, it's the components. I will be older than Rusty by the time those damn windows arrive and I can't go on the road until I sell this house. Ugh. Well, good luck to you, Drill Sergeant. Things will work out. They always do. Uh, we'll do a couple more here. Susan Gill, Hi, Rusty. I just finished watching an excellent movie on YouTube called A Simple Plan with Billy Bob Thornton from 1991, I think. Everything about it is excellent. I'm a hard critic of movies, so the next rainy day, it's it's worth your time. You're always giving us, get, you're always giving us so finally I felt I had something worth sharing with you. I think you will, you will love it. Thank you. Well, thank you, Susan Gill. Let me write that down. Yeah, I think I've seen that, a simple plan. I, it was a YouTube thing, and uh, let me write that down there. Because I like to watch a good movie every now and then. A simple plan. I, I like. I hope it's a simple movie, like me. I'm pretty simple. But anyway, moving right along, we'll do two more and then shut her down. Uh, H.W. Liberty says, LOL, that's a cute shirt. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Uh, Franny Lee 38 says, ha, 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 on Meet Amy and Andy. Yeah. And Rip Snorton says, no pep talk. No. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I, I just did what I did. And uh, Willard, Willard Brawner, Brawner, B-R-A-W-N-E-R, Brawner. Can't wait to meet Amos and Andy. Maybe tomorrow. Well, actually, it's Amy and Andy. Amy and Andy. Amy's the girl. And, and, and Yeah, but Amy, you can watch Amos and Andy on YouTube. Uh, last one. <clears throat> Rusty, this is a, just a suggestion. Why don't you sell your lots in Lano and buy another lot outside the city limits where you would be able to live in your Classita, then you wouldn't have to fool with building a cabin. You know, that's great, Minecraftman. Here's the downside of that. Selling the lots probably wouldn't be a big problem. It may take a couple of months. Finding a piece of property in the country around Lano, Texas, and the Texas Hill Country, the prices have gone crazy. They're selling 20-acre tracks for $400,000. You hear me? $400,000. That's $20,000 an acre. But you can't find a one-acre tract. Okay? They're, you know, they're all acre. All the small stuff goes first. But it is a good thought. I did think about it. But there's nothing available in a location I want to be in. You know, Because if you start buying one-acre tracks, then what happens is you're basically in little country neighborhoods. Well, you want to be somebody on, be next door to somebody with a meth lab or raising hogs or chickens or 
playing music till 5 a.m. in the morning. That's what you get in an unrestricted area, see? But anyway, it was a nice thought, but the reality hits me right in the face. Anyway, <clears throat> thank you very much. Uh, here's one here. It says, uh, the My Minecraftsman says, can you glue the other ear back on the one-eared goat? I tried, but my hands don't work right. Anyway, here's the old stinking, screaming one-eared goat from outer space to give you a Saturday morning kiss. I almost missed his opportunity there. But anyway, guys, from Carrizozo, New Mexico, on a Saturday morning, cool, not cold, this is Rusty78-78609 saying, Thumbs up, carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem. Adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Well, it doesn't cost you a penny, and if you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway, you know, I know it takes a little extra effort, I know, I know, I know, but, you know, it's better than Patreon or, or, or all kind of other things they come up with, but anyway, enough said. Drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you, it's good for you, it'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack. And the only way to lose weight and keep it off is, ta-da, eat less. That's it. No secret there. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. What does that do? It, lo it lowers stress, which lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. Do it several times a day. And then what else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately, and you may live longer, healthier, because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness, all those little Neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have, every memory, every dream, every plan, everything. So common sense says, add good ingredients. How about that? Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Why? Because it's the negativity from the whole universe multiplied times 1,000 and delivered to you by professional, highly paid, talking heads, that are there for one reason, to get in your head and get the ratings up so they can make more money, okay? It's all it's about. They don't care if you cut your wrists or jump off a building or what. They don't care about you. So if you want to read, you want to get a dose of negativity, the news, then read it. It takes all the emotion out of it, okay? And that's what you want to do, in my opinion. Next step, even better, do your own research. You got it laptop or a computer or go to the library and use a computer you can find out anything you want to find out anywhere anywhere okay it may not be accurate but you can find it out but anyway uh, what else accentuate the positive eliminate the negative enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time at ease carry on adios bye bye hasta luego vaya con dios aloha until the noon video which will be i don't know but it'll be something adios amigos carry on bye bye Enjoy Saturday. Enjoy, enjoy your weekend.